Hey there, Davin Montrose here of the Davinator.pro, and in this video I'm going to be taking you on a walkthrough and review of the Pin Pinterest platform. Now, right now, before we get started, I should mention that uh, Pin Pinterest is for automating your Pinterest marketing. Um, it helps you to build a following on autopilot. It helps you to schedule pins so that everything happens in the background, and it does, uh, you know, several other things as well and it's all to help you to to free up your time so you can take on some other tasks in your business you know so your whole day isn't spent you know just simply doing the the pinterest portion of your marketing so um i think it's important to say that right now this is a brand new account i've been running pin pinterest on this on this particular account now for five days it's it's february the 17th and I began on February the 12th. So, in that time, you know, I've used a few of the features. Few of the features. I haven't used them all yet, but um, um, you know, I'm learning more about it as each day goes by, kind of thing. But um, as you can see, so far on complete autopilot, I've built a following of 220 uh, followers, which is, you know, very very good. Um, I'm quite pleased with that considering you know it was all done basically hands off I haven't once once I set up a few things in here I haven't really touched it um, at all and you know I think it's also important to mention that I did look at some of the competitors to pin Pinterest um, before deciding to on pin Pinterest a as the platform I was going to use and in my opinion um, Pin Pinterest has just far better features and it seems to be a lot more stable than some of the uh, other platforms out there. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm a member of a, one of the Facebook groups of, of a rival um, you know, platform that, that does uh, automation for Pinterest as well. And you know, there, there are people in there that are excited about getting their first 50 followers in a week. Um, <laughs> You know, so I, I'm really quite impressed with the 220 followers in my first week um, using this platform. So anyways, with all that said, let's just dive into it a little bit here and uh, have a look around and um, I'll, I'll try and walk you through some of the features. So this I right here is the main dashboard and, you know, it's as you can see, it, it gives you an overview of what Pin Pinterest has done for you so far. Like so far in the last five days, it's posted 122 pins for me. It's followed 371 users, and from from all of that action so far that it's performed, I've received 220 followers. Now, what's going to happen actually at the end of the day today, because it is the fifth day of running? is it will go in and it's going to start to unfollow a bunch of these users. Um, it, it's, it follows and unfollows for five days, like it'll follow for five days and then it's going to unfollow for five days, or er, er, unfollow five days worth of followers, I should say. Um, so, you know, it's, it's off to a really good start. Um, no complaints at all there. And as you see, it e even has a message here, you know, when when unfollow box is checked and after following a new user, pin Pinterest waits five days and then unfollows, unfollows them. And, you know, that's really important um, for Pinterest accounts because you don't want to have to be following too, too many people as compared to the amount of followers that you have. So it's awesome that it does that, you know, all on automation for you. Okay, so next we have the tags portion. And this is actually, you know, where Pin Pinterest knows how to, uh, you know, find your followers. It's it's followers of people that are tagged into boards um, that fall under these types of tags. And right now, it, you know, they say you should have ten. And and when I first got started, I noticed that a lot of followers were happening up really quick. And it, it, as a matter of fact, my first few days is when I gained a lot of the followers and I've since learned and I'm, I still have to make a few changes in here but I've since learned that some of these terms in here I should actually have to be even a, a little bit more generic than they are you know I got some uh, fairly um, specific tags in here you know I could probably take out social media marketing and just leave it as social media 
where I and I can probably take out vacation spots and just leave vacation um, because sometimes what what may happen is it'll look per perhaps a little bit too hard for that exact um, tag on certain boards whereas it will find a lot more content to post for you and people to follow based on simpler tags so um, I learned that from another person actually reviewing the software um, when I was learning how to use it myself so there are changes that I do have to make here yet and here's your speed control and I just left this at default because um, you know pin Pinterest knows their software better than anybody I'm sure and they know Pinterest's limitations um, you know as far as to what's safe and and what's not safe when it comes to getting your your account banned and whatnot so when you're first starting out you know it, it tells you right here that you should o you should have everything set to at 120 per day and then as you start to get a bigger following and your accounts build as far as the amount of pins and everything then um, you know you can start to you can start to ramp that up a little bit each month so that that you keep getting more and more followers so below that we have actually got all of the actions that pin Pinterest has done for you already and as you can see you know they got uh, all of these different pins and these are people that it started to follow and whatnot on my behalf and uh, this is like I say five days worth of of growth here and I believe I can add more if I wanted to but I'm sure you get the point <laughs> it's it's basically the background history of everything that pin Pinterest has done for you since since you started it okay so next we have uh, th these are my boards okay so these are the boards that pin Pinterest is uh, uh, auto pinning to right now and I'll, I'll mention th these boards that are off in a minute and, and I do have them off for a reason but um, there's a very important reason for that but um, so so far these are the boards um, that it's pinning to and when you sign up for pin Pinterest there's you know it's a, it's a real simple um, it's a real simple thing but you, you just have to hook your Pinterest account into pin Pinterest but it's you know it's a really simple process to do that so and if, if you click on one of these boards as well like let me just click here for a sec it it explains to you you know what you should be doing to set up your boards properly and whatnot now these boards are off but uh, there's a reason for that but if I look at this other one here whoops didn't mean to do that you can see that I have more tags in here as well as compared to the last board I just showed you okay so I better turn that one back on Oops, what did I do? save tags there we go okay now if you recall I had mentioned that I had a couple of boards that weren't actually set to auto pin and the reason for that is actually behind um, the strategy that um, I'm using to that, that will get me the traffic to my own blog and um, I'm following um, a certain strategy well from a couple of courses actually but um, just to give you a little more value out of this video um, you kind of you, you create a special board and this this particular board is called the best of the Dabinator Pro and this will be pins that come directly from my blog and and the pins that I create for certain posts so instead of it just instead of the uh, pin Pinterest going out and finding just pins on random to post to the other boards these ones are, are off here until I set it up to schedule um, you know exactly when I want those pins to be created see that right now I'm looking at my blog and I have an image here and whatnot, but um, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to go back and actually change some of these images out that I, I feel are more pinnable because these blog posts were actually made before I started using Pin Pinterest. So that's why um, you know that that I haven't used that feature yet. However, um, I just wanted to mention that there about what you can do with it. You can schedule these to go out at any, any at any time that you want in the future. So 
you know, it's just another great feature for totally automating your your Pinterest marketing. And as well, let me talk about the invite feature here quickly. Part of the whole strategy um, bef behind what I, what I'm doing is getting into group boards. And once this gets up to around a thousand followers, and maybe before I may get invited to actually post into some group boards before I get to a thousand followers, but it's kind of important to get to a thousand followers first, and then I can approach other board, uh, other group boards, and the guys that uh, are administrators of that board, so I can join the group boards, and that's when your 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 traffic can you know really really increase to a you know a very high level, is when you start getting accepted into group boards and able to post to post to different group boards. So that's that's the whole uh, key behind the strategy to getting a lot of you know a lot of clicks back to your own website so I thought I would mention that inside of this video just so you know just to give you a bit of a strategy behind what you're doing with Pinterest and if you see this feature here this is invite and you can also create your very own um, boards group boards and what this what this feature will allow you to do is to go out and find other pinners that are um, you know in your own niche and whatnot, and send uh, and you'll be able to send them personal invites, you know, using the invite feature. And you might want to set that up to you know maybe four or five four or five members a day or you know whatever is within the safe safe um, parameters of Pin Pinterest here. And um, that way, you can also create your own boards as well as be a, be a member of other boards to pin to, p er, to pin to. And you know, it's it's just a very very good overall strategy, um, you know, to be using with Pinterest. So that pretty much covers most of it of what you can do in here. Oh, except for this last feature here, is this p this pin website? This allows you to put in a site map. Um, the way I understand it like if if you ever need an explanation of what each portion does in here there's a handy little guide right here and it explains to you exactly what you, what each feature does inside a pin Pinterest and that feature there is you know um, basically it's choose a site map and it's from pin from website so you know if we go back to here if I click on it, pin content from my website. You can at, you can attach a sitemap URL to one or more boards, and once it's done, each URL from your sitemap will be automatically pinned to a chosen board. And if you don't have a sitemap, simply attach your homepage, and it will be crawled in all the pages on your site will be pinned. See, I, I, that's another excellent feature of the of the software, so um, I felt I had better mention that in here as well. But as I said, uh, with all the features, if you ever want to know and need to know what, what each part of them does, you just go over this handy little guide here and you can learn about each different feature as well. This is actually how I started to be able to learn how to use it there are other customers in here that have made videos um, to help you along your way and you can learn more about the strategies that they're using to build their follow following on pin Pinterest or with pin Pinterest as well so I hope that gives you you know a good overview of of this aw awesome tool um, as I said I, <coughs> I did test out a couple of other ones before I tried pin Pinterest and you know in my personal opinion pin Pinterest seems to be about the best one out there as far as um, the capabilities of it and also uh, the pricing as well. So I hope you enjoyed my review of Pin Pinterest and I look forward to seeing you in my other videos. Take care for now.